I got one question for you before I offer you a lift. Who'd you vote for for president? I voted for Trump. Okay, Trump. All right, go ahead and get in. I really appreciate you giving me a lift. It's a good thing you got this bug out vehicle. I think we could probably get through anything. I have one question. What happens if we run out of gas? Gas? Nah, we don't need no gas. We don't need no vouchers. I don't have to show you any stinking vouchers. This thing runs on tears from snowflakes. Where are we gonna find a snowflake at? Oh boy, am I glad to see y'all. I've been looking everywhere for a ride. Before I agree to let you in the vehicle, who'd you vote for for president? Yeah, I, I voted for Bernie. Bernie? All right, get in. Man, all this bug out nonsense just made me so emotional. I've been crying so much lately. <laughs> And like, I think I can't. This requires a system. This guy's not to be messed with. Not to be messed with. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today. I'm gonna show you my bug out vehicle. Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. This is my 1995 Suzuki Sidekick JX four-door. It's got a four-cylinder fuel-injected motor in it. It is four-wheel drive. It has a snorkel, which I'll put a card up in the top section there so you can go see my homemade snorkel for this thing. I've got a bunch of light bars on this. I've got that one that I painted with the Texas flag theme. I've got this big basket that I made, put in the front. You can put deer carcasses in there. You could put coolers. You can put whatever you want. Also made this front bumper out of some four inch steel pipe. Uh, I did not make a video on that, but I did make one, like I said, on that light bar. Got another light bar up here. I got another one on this side, and I've got another one on the other side. This is a solar panel to help charge the batteries on this. Since I have so many light bars, I figured, why not put a solar panel on it? Of course, you've got your, your pew pew. That's a kind of a deer one. This is more tactical. Never a bad idea to have binoculars. This thing has a plethora of cup holders. One there, two there, two there. Two there. What goes here is the headrest. Taking the headrest out and I put cup holders there. This Suzuki is lifted a little bit. It's approximately two inches. I also have a video on that. I could put a card up there. You can go check it out too. I've got all kinds of videos, guys. I've been building this rig for quite a while. Probably four years now. Got two spare tires. Got one there. Got one up on the rack up top. Have you ever heard that saying, Two is one and one is none. That's what you got with spare tires. I am addicted to LED lights. I've got these hooked up to the backup switch. This one right here is hooked up to a toggle. You have to have the lights running to be able to get that one to work. I am an Eagle Scout, so it's a blessing and a curse because I am always packing way too much stuff. Doesn't hardly ever get used, but just in case you ever need it, you got it. And that's the way I am with my work truck, my 
uh, bug out vehicle, which is also my hunting vehicle. Um, we've got five gallons of gas on this side. You've got five gallons of water over there. We've got tools in that tote up there. I've got room for another tote I can put up there. Here's that other light bar I was talking about. You got a shovel. You got this. I made this cooler. Look at that. It's a Yeti in there. You can also put a Yeti bag cooler up on top. So in a bug out situation, you got to go to the bathroom. You can always just lean up against a tree or you could take this off. You can set, set on this. This is a toilet seat that I made. Goes into the trailer hitch. Uh, you can put it in the front, you can put it in the back, you can put it wherever you want. Let's open the back here, see what we got. We got our axe, we got a pair of loppers there. I always carry a chainsaw with me. Okay, this right here is a trash bag. You got another one of those uh, pew pews. This is a first aid kit. More mechanic tools, hand sanitizer wipes. You've got an air compressor you've got toe straps i've got a toe chain in here you've got rest for your pew pews got a funnel this vehicle is comfortable for four five would be pretty tight because fitting three grown men in the back here is not really ideal um, you could put somebody on the roof rack up top or two people up there, but it would be kind of a bouncy ride Got one bug out bag here. I've got my little pouch system here flashlight mag pouches <coughs> I've got a uh, pew pew right there Got plenty of knives. This bag is full of knives These work great for all kinds of stuff to stop bleeding one of my favorite attachments of the whole rig look at that antler I, I drilled and tapped this to accept the threads on the end of the gear shift that is a whitetail antler it works great also in a bug out situation you want to have means of communication so get you a couple of walkie talkies that way you can talk to um, other people that are around you good reliable tires are key to a bug out situation i've got all six tires filled with slime the green slime that you put in them so i've got all of them filled with that of course i've got this really rad paint job i took the front fenders off to allow for more wheel travel look at that you got probably eight inches right there one of the one of the modifications that i've also done to this sidekick is i took the door pins out and i used a 5 16 hitch pin top and bottom okay and what you can do is you can actually take all four doors off so you can remove them completely and it acts more as a kind of like a, a side by side at that point like a polaris ranger this Suzuki also has a cutout in the exhaust, so I can make it straight pipe when I want to. It adds about five horsepower. That's regular exhaust. So, you know, I mean, I, she gets her done. <laughs> it's getting a little darker now, and I wanted to turn the lights on for y'all. So y'all can see what it looked like at nighttime. It is bright as all get out. Look at that. I don't even use the headlights because there's no point. This one back in the back. When you have it in reverse, the backup lights turn on. It's definitely bright you can light up the night with this vehicle for sure so if you're looking for a bug out vehicle I highly recommend the Suzuki sidekick they are relatively inexpensive parts you can get them uh, you can go to a junkyard and buy parts 
There's um, a couple guys around the nation that have um, a large supply of parts. I have been able to find everything that I've needed on uh, either Amazon or go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or whatever. They can get it for you. Um, when I put the lift kit on this, I had to replace a couple of things. So we were able to get the parts pretty easily. I have used this vehicle in several occasions out in West Texas with buddies of mine running Polaris Rangers and Jeeps. And this thing will do anything and everything a Polaris or a Jeep will do, plus more. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Texas Breed Adventures. Do me a favor, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Check me out on Instagram, at Texas Beard Adventures. Me and the wife of the kitties do all kinds of crazy stuff over there. And I'll catch you on the flip side. You dang hillbillies. I want everybody on it. Everybody. <laughs> chicken, my chicken got loose. Hey, have you seen my chicken? Is that it? Do you know? Dude, what does that mean? Salt, pepper, garlic. Nobody knows what it means, but it's provocative and it gets the people going.